Hello and welcome to a new episode of Adobe Creative Cloud TV. My name is Terry White and in this episode we're going to take a look at how to use the contact forms in Muse but reduce the amount of potential spam you may, getting, may be getting using the recapture feature. Now CAPTCHA or Business Catalyst CAPTCHA is something that's been in Muse for a long time almost since day one but it only worked if you were hosting your site with Adobe via Business Catalyst. Now, Adobe Muse has both BC Captcha and ReCAPTCHA, which is available for your hosting no matter where you're hosting your site at. It's basically just something you simply go generate keys for with Google, and then you can use those keys no matter where you're hosting your site. So let's take a look at how it works. First of all, I'm on a sample site here. I'm on K Katie's Cafe. And when I go to the contact page, You'll notice that I can put in my name, I can put in my email address, I can put in how we can help you, but then the site requires me to put in the number that I see on that image. And of course it will, um, it will vary each time the site's loaded. And that will allow me to actually go ahead and send the message. If I don't uh, put in the number, then I am not a human, in other words, I'm potentially a spam bot. And therefore, I can just keep spamming this form, sending emails without having to be a human that has to read that number and then type it in. So that's the reason for uh, having, when you see forms on the web with these, why are they making me type what I see? It's to make sure you're human and not some uh, digital spam bot that has found the site and just keeps submitting forms. Okay, so now how do you set this up? Let's head over to Muse. And in Muse, um, I've already set up a contact form, but you would just go to your forms panel and drag over the simple contact form or the detailed contact form, customize it with whatever you want. So in Katie's Cafe, there are only three fields, the name, email, and how can we help you? But what I want to do on this form is if I click on it to get to the options, I can also say that I want to use ReCAPTCHA if I'm hosting somewhere else or BC CAPTCHA if I'm hosting with Adobe. Either one, you don't need both, one or the other. So I'm hosting this somewhere else. Let's go ahead and do ReCAPTCHA. And that will bring up the field where it's asking me to put in my public and private keys. Where do I get those from? Well, that's where you actually head over to the web you go over to google.com slash recaptcha and that's where you can generate your own keys for free all you do is click get recaptcha put in the domain name of wherever your site's being hosted and it will give you and you can put in multiple domain names so you can generate you know a set of keys for a bunch of sites that you do or if you just one site you can generate the keys you want get them copy them and paste them back in over here in Adobe Muse, upload your site, and here, by the way, in case you missed it, there we go, Put po post the, or paste the public one there and the private one there, then once you're done, click off of it, save and upload your site, and then your form will be working. Without those keys, that recapture won't do anything, it won't work, so it's not stopping anything. But with those keys, it will generate the new graphic each time someone visits that site on the web. So if I go back to the web here and I go back to Katie's Cafe and refresh the page, I'll hopefully and potentially get a new graphic each time that someone has to figure out what that says. I could barely read it myself, but it looks like 5142. I would type that in and now my form can be sent. So that's using reCAPTCHA with your Muse contact forms by getting your Google public and private keys, which are free to go get and use, you know, on your site, no matter where your site's being hosted. Hope you learned something. Take care and we'll catch you on the next one.